from living in a housing project to being worth over $500 million, this is a success story of Jay-Z. Hi, I'm Evan Carmichael. I believe in entrepreneurs and I also believe that the fastest way to accomplish any goal is to model the success of somebody who's already accomplished it. So today we're going to learn from rapper turned entrepreneur Jay-Z and the top three lessons that you can learn from his success. Born Sharon Carter, he grew up in a housing project in Brooklyn. He was raised with his three siblings by his mother after his father abandoned them. He loved music and used to wake up his siblings by banging out beats on the kitchen table. She bought him a boombox for his birthday and he used it to freestyle and write lyrics. He was known as Jazzy in his neighborhood, a name that eventually developed into Jay-Z. He started his singing career under a mentor, fellow rapper Jazz O. He was featured on several of Jazz O's early records and was involved in several rap battles with LL Cool J in the early 90s. Today he is worth over $500 million, is one of the most successful hip hop artists of all time and continues to invest in and build businesses to expand his wealth and influence. Here are the top three lessons that you can learn from Jay-Z's success. Number one, bet on yourself. When Jay-Z was getting started, no major label wanted to give him a record deal. Rap music was too unproven and Jay-Z wasn't a well-known artist. Instead of giving up, he bet on himself and partnered with Damon Dame Dash and Kareem Biggs Burke to start his own independent label in 1995, Rockefeller Records. He was the only artist signed to the label and he started by selling his CDs out of his car. Even his mentor, Jazz O, refused to sign with the new label. He continued to hustle and believe in himself and eventually signed a distribution deal with Priority Records. Jay-Z's first album, Reasonable Doubt, reached number 23 on the Billboard 200 and would later be included in Rolling Stone's 500 Greatest Albums of All Time. Before anyone else will believe in you, you need to believe first. Bet on yourself. Number two, create alliances. Jay-Z never operated alone and always formed alliances to help him achieve his goals. Rockefeller Records was started with his friends Dash and Burke. His first album, Reasonable Doubt, used beats from acclaimed producers DJ Premier and Super DJ Clark Kent, as well as an appearance by the Notorious B.I.G. Future albums would be collaborations with Sean, Puff Daddy Combs, Timbaland, Kanye West, Eminem, Beyonce, Lenny Kravitz, Linkin Park and others. He continues to use this strategy today as he creates the Tidal Music streaming service with some of the top names in the music community. Don't try to do everything yourself. Find people who believe in your mission and can contribute to it to help you move it forward. Create alliances. Number three, expand your base. Jay-Z didn't want to just be a rapper. He wanted to be an entrepreneur and expand his base beyond his music. He co-founded the urban clothing brand Rockaware with Damon Dash as an extension of his brand. He later sold the rights to the Rockaware brand for $204 million, but retains his ownership in the business and continues to help run it. He co-owns the 4040 Club, an upscale sports bar with locations in New York, Atlantic City, Chicago, and plans for Tokyo and Singapore. He's invested in the entrepreneurial ventures, sports teams, and real estate. He started his own sports agency, Rock Nation Sports, and acquired Armand de Brignac Champagne. He has now launched Tidal, a subscription-based music streaming service. Your business venture should be a reflection of who you are and where your interests lie. Don't box yourself in. Expand your base. My advice is to do things that are true to you. You know, uh, you know, most things that I'm involved with are an extension of being creative. You know, Rockaway is a clothing company. You know, it's part of who you are. And hip hop is your attitude and what you're trying to expre express, how you dress. And I loved sports growing up. I grew up in a, in a household where sports was on 24 you know, 7. Mm -hmm. So these are all things that are, you know, are comfortable for me. You know, these are things that I like. So I would just say get involved in things that you love and also have you know, have a standard for yourself and have some sort of integrity and try to, you know, find some sort of truth in what you're doing. So remember, bet on yourself, create alliances and expand your base and you could be on your way to building a half a billion dollar empire yourself. And of course, believe. Thank you so much for watching. I'd love to hear what you have to think of Jay-Z as an entrepreneur in the comments below. Also, if you have a suggestion for who you'd like to see me profile next, leave a comment and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and the newsletter. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you soon.